Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. <laughs> girl Ashley the handy homegirl and welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a super easy super simple holiday mantle I really wanted a mantle in my home I had this beautiful brick fireplace with no mantle and it just needed a, a, a mantle I just needed something so I can hang all the stuff that's still in boxes from the move-in on my mantle especially my Christmas decorations so um, we're just gonna jump right into this super easy DIY mantle and let me know what you guys think at the end of the video here's what you're going to need to make your easy DIY mantle First, you're gonna take two of the two by eight boards and cut them down to the size that you need for your wall. Then you're gonna take them and put them on the other pieces of wood so it can be a little bit more stable. Then you're gonna take your wood glue and you're going to adhere the wood glue to the edges of your two two by eights. And Royal was being my little helper that day, of course. Then you're going to take the third two by eight and lay it on top. Um, you're definitely going to need assistance to do this. It's a lot easier with some help. Use finishing nails and a hammer or to make it easier, use a nail gun to secure the third board to the other two boards. My boards had a little bit of a bow on them and hopefully your boards are a lot straighter than the one I had, but if you do come across the problem where your board, one board bows, just put it on the side where the bow is facing you, turn it on its side, and push it down so it can meet the straight line. It's better to push down than to push up. You know, of course, gravity will help you. And then I just go ahead and nail it all together. Measure your inside of your box. Cut that down. Hopefully you've already pre-measured this and get it professionally cut at Home Depot or Lowe's. And then make it fit inside of your box. Super easy, no cutting 45s. It's, this is just the best way to do it if you are, you know, the be, like a carpenter at heart. Use the nail gun and shoot the nails in to secure your little side box area. My assistant wanted to try his hand at nailing with a nail gun too. <laughs> okay, so now that your box is all complete, it's time for the easy, easy part, wood veneer sheets. This will take away from having to cut your 45 angles for the sides if and if you don't have the machine. So what I did is I just took the wood veneer and I'm gonna follow the grain that's on the front and not the top. So the grain is going horizontally, so I'm gonna place my paper on there horizontally line up the corners with the paper and then I'm going to trace the corners so I know where to cut and now that the corners have been traced I'm just going to meet the corners with the pencil so I can get the perfect shape for that side of the box or mantle <laughs> it's not a mantle until it's mounted then you're just gonna cut it out and cut slowly. You wanna make this as straight as possible. Don't rush it. And then you wanna take some of your wood glue and go on around the edge. I will also put some in the center, like all around it. That is one thing I did not do. Don't make that mistake. Go ahead and put most of some of the glue in the center and also rub the glue around the edges so you don't have any like pickups on the ends. And you're just going to glue it down to the side and look at that it looks like you cut 45s I mean come on out it can't get any more simple than this and so when that's all done I'm gonna let the ends dry just by standing them on their sides and I let them dry for a couple of hours so and now you need to work on your mounts now the mounts they don't have to be fancy but you want to at least make them the right size to fit inside the box so I measured each out each one out I marked the top with the number one so I know which way to put the mounts 
So number one is going to go on that end because sometimes it's not perfectly measured. Like it might be like five and three fourths on one end and then five and one eighth on the other. And you just don't want to have to figure out like, like it's a puzzle. It doesn't have to be that complicated. So I do one, I do two and I do three and I do four. After sides are dry, I just sand down those edges just to get that nice crisp edge so it won't look like you can't see the paper or anything like that. And then take a cloth and dust it off. All right, so now that it's dusted off, it's time for staining, making it pretty. So I'm gonna use mini wax wood finish and English chestnut, mix it up. So you're gonna need a paintbrush, a cloth, and some gloves so you don't get your hands all messy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start staining. I wanted it to be as dark as possible, so I left my stain on for quite a bit of time to get that really pretty dark chestnut color. And you can even stain wood veneer. It was like, I was shocked how good it came out when you're just really just painting wood paper. And once it's the respected color that you want, you're gonna take your cloth and you're gonna wipe all the excess stain that hadn't soaked into the wood. It's a beautiful color, I love this color. I let it dry and then I actually put a coat of poly on it as well. But now we're gonna get into the mounting process. I'm going to make the marks. I had help marking marks onto the four pieces of wood that I cut. I actually only ended up using three. Then they were mounted to the walls with four inch bolts. He put in the anchor, my TV mounting guy helped me with this, and he drilled a hole where he marked it so everything could be level. It's very important that it's level and he had screwed it into the wall. So now I have my three anchors on the wall. It can be officially mounted to the wall now. We took painter's tape to mark where the mounts were so I can know where to shoot. And then I took my nail gun and simply shot nails in through the mantle into the mounting wood on the top and the bottom to make sure that it was super, super secure. And there is my beautiful mantle that I have been wanting and wanting and wanting to get done since we like bought the house. And here is my mantle all decorated and ready for the holidays. Hey homies, I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said before, it was super simple to make. There were no extra funky angles that I had to have or had to cut because I didn't have the machine. Uh, I would suggest going to your Home Depot, measuring out your whole project first, going to your local Home Depot or Lowe's or hardware store and getting all your wood cut if you don't have some of the tools that I happen to have already. Well, that's just one of the perks of being a handy homegirl. This project is so easy for you to make at home in time for Christmas. It only takes a couple days to get this project done and you can have a beautiful mantle like this one in your home for the holidays. Stay tuned for the next couple of videos and I'll show you how to make this awesome Noel banner for your mantle and I also have a tutorial on how to whitewash your brick fireplace. Don't leave before you subscribe to this channel, comment if you have any questions or concerns, and also like and share because you know what? Sharing is caring. Alright guys, happy holidays and I'll see you later. Peace. Hey homies, you can find more DIY tips and tutorials at thehandyhomegirl.com and stay up to date by subscribing to my blog and my YouTube channel. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. See you later guys. Bye.